Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew and welcome back to Shelter. In the last episode, we successfully navigated the dark forest with all of our babies in tow and ended up at the edge of this flooding river. We currently need to uh, cross this without getting swept away in the current, which <laughs> you can see right there is a very, very strong and very dangerous. We don't want any of our tiny little badger babies getting lost in those gigantic waves. So what we need to do is a uh, run. <laughs> as soon as those pass, we're going to run as fast as we can across this log and hope that our little babies can keep up. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Oh gosh, I'm not sure if uh, they're gonna make it. Let's see, let's see. Come on, come on, come on, oh no. <laughs> it looks like they were okay though. All five of them are still there. None of them got lost in the current. I think that log was just high enough that we didn't need to uh, worry about them getting uh, lost there. But sometimes we need to cross in uh, the river itself. So we need to make sure that we stay behind the cover of the rocks when each uh, wave comes passing through. And I think that's an area right there where we're going to have to do just that. So uh, our little pups are barking right now. We need to knock the apple off of this tree so they can eat. That guy's carrying it away on his back. <laughs> that was quite strange. Um, I don't see any more vegetables poking out of the ground, so it looks like now it's time to uh, cross the river and cross our fingers as well. I think we could make it across just running, so... Now we're gonna go <laughs> as fast as we can. I think we can uh, skip hiding behind that rock. I think, I think, I think. <laughs> there we go. Okay, they're all okay, all five of them. It seemed like we had um, a large gap between each wave crossing and that was quite a short distance. But uh, this is a little bit trickier because now we need to actually go up the river and uh, we need to try to cover ourselves with the rocks after each break. So we're gonna wait for the wave to pass through and then we're going to run to the rock straight ahead of us. Oh gosh, it was a little bit too soon there. <laughs> but we made it, we're okay. We just need to go to this rock and wait and hope that none of our babies get swept away as long as they all stay right next to us. Okay, let's cross our fingers. <laughs> there we go. And now let's run to the next one. Come on, little babies. Let's run to the next one right here in the shadow of this rock. Okay, I think we're gonna be okay. I think we are, oh gosh. Oh, that worries me so much when they get uh, battered around by the current. I'm afraid that they're actually going to uh, fall into the water there, but okay, let's hope that this is enough to, oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> okay, let's bring ourselves up a little bit so we can see exactly where we need to go next. I think it's this one on the right here, I think. <laughs> I see a little shadow um, next to that rock as well. Oh, Oh, that was close. Our little baby got knocked out of the shadow and I'm assuming we need to um, stay in the shadow to stay safe. I'm assuming. Um, so there's another one right over there. Uh, <laughs> let's just go. We can't even look and see if our baby survived that one. Let's just go. I see all five of them though, so I think we're okay. So let's uh, wait in the corner here. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is brutal. This is absolutely brutal. Okay, I see another one right off in front of us. So we're just going to give it a moment again for another wave to pass through. <laughs> we're going to be uh, nice and patient in this level. We are not going to risk running off when we don't need to. So let's see, all five of them are still alive. They're still with us. That is amazing to see because this is a, a pretty rough one. And now we just need to run up here and get in this shadow right here. Come on, little guys, don't slow down now. We are so close. We are so close to the end of this river. We just need uh, to do a couple more. <laughs> Here's another one. Come on, little guys. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. They're all here. Okay. Is there another wave? There it is. So I'm wondering where we need to go next. Um, I don't see another shadow over there, but there are um, some rocks leading to the shore. So I wonder if that's the end. Do we just need to make a run for it? That's a bit worrying. Um, we're gonna try though. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, there's a shadow right here. Okay, okay. I couldn't see it around the rock that we were currently at. Hopefully all of them will make it in time. I think they did. <laughs> I think we're okay. And now we just need to run to the shore. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what an adventure that was, huh little guys? Gosh, I hope there's some food in here to feed you. I think I see a carrot off in the distance, so. Come on, 
<laughs> we'll do, whoopsie, can uh, turned around here. We'll do a little head count once we get to the carrot to make absolutely sure that everyone survived that crazy river. And yes, they all did. All five of them are here. So we're doing very, very well. I'm going to give this guy the carrot because I think he looks quite pale. Um, it's a little bit hard to tell because the whole world's kind of shaded in this strange uh, red glow from the rain. <laughs> I guess it must be like sunset or dawn, maybe. Probably dawn. That would make more sense because we just um, finished crossing that dark forest in the middle of the night. So I would assume that this is sunrise right now. And we're currently making our way <laughs> through this uh, rainy, awful river. So let's see if there's any more food down this way. Hopefully that bird isn't going to come back either. Um, <laughs> I'm sure that bird, of, uh, the bird of prey that we saw in the first episode is a little bit annoyed that he didn't get his uh, share of our, our little badgers, his, uh, his own meal. But we're doing quite well feeding our babies, so I don't think we have anything to worry about just yet. And it looks like I can just barely see a little turnip poking out <laughs> in the distance there. I see those waves off to the right, and that kind of worries me that we're going to have to cross the river again. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that was enough just once. was more than enough for me. So let's see. Who could use it this time? I think this guy over here with the half stripe and the circle all around his body could probably use the food the most. It really seems like um, our badgers are growing now. They're almost as big as their mom. <laughs> when we started the game, they were so tiny, but now they're uh, getting quite older. I hear birds in the trees too. I was wondering if we could see them, but it doesn't seem like it. We can just hear them uh, chirping away in the birch trees as we pass them. And it does look like we have another spot to cross, but there's a frog. Okay, let's see if we can get this guy. Big jump. <laughs> there we go. Our mama badger is very good at pouncing. You gotta give her that. Okay, so which one of these guys? I think this one with the long stripe down his back probably hasn't eaten in a while. I don't remember seeing him eat anyway. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to keep them all uh, wrapped up in my head, but it's kind of tricky. There's so many to look after, which is good because we um, are quite glad that we haven't lost any yet. So there's another shadow behind a rock, which I believe we need to make it toward. Oh my gosh, the little baby was uh, trying to go into the river before us, which is not good. You need to wait for your mama. I know you're growing up, but you're not ready to cross this river all by yourself, little guy. Okay, so let's go, let's go right to the shore. That one was a lot easier than uh, trying to make our way up the river <laughs> while it's flooding. That was a bit tricky. So here we have another radish to give to our little babies and we'll ration this out properly again because they're all spreading out better uh, than they were in the dark forest anyway. They were all clumping together and it made it very, very hard to decide who was going to get the food because um, it seemed like they were uh, stealing it. The ones that had already eaten were stealing all of the food for themselves, which was not very helpful at all for their mama badger, let me tell you. <laughs> so we're getting to the top of this hill and it looks like we're transitioning again into the next part of the game, which, oh dear, does not look very nice at all. We have ash flowing uh, all through the air and it looks like there's smoke in the distance. Um, we may have wandered into a forest fire this time. We're going straight from a uh, flooding river to a forest fire that is uh, currently consuming this entire part of the forest. So this, this is a little bit unnerving. And that guy just stole it. He just stole it right out from under his sibling's nose. That was not nice at all. <laughs> He, again, that's the one that um looks the most like our mama badger, and he really seems to be the one who just steals the food all the time. Such a greedy little guy. So, uh, oh, there's a, there's a little, uh, oh gosh, <laughs> a little groundhog, but he skittered straight into that hole there. I knew I was not going to be able to get him. I think we missed out on uh, catching that guy. So we'll just go ahead, run up to this turnip instead. And oh no, I can see the fire in the distance, all of the fire and smoke. <laughs> so let's give um, our little baby that turnip and watch him turn a little bit brighter in his coat. Oh gosh, I am not sure about this guys. This looks uh, very worrying. Oh boy, <laughs> hopefully the fire isn't going to spread to um, us while we sit up on this hill and take in the sights. 
This is uh, very, very worrying indeed. So I think I will end out the episode right here. And if you would like to see us attempt <laughs> our very best to get through this raging forest fire, then feel free to subscribe to the channel. And I will be updating Shelter every Friday, every week on Fridays. I'll also leave a link in the description below when the next episode is online. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!